All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful spring, summer, spring, spring day. And uh, I have something interesting that we're gonna do today in my casual wear because this is my casual day off. But uh, let's have a look at a compost pile. Okay, so behind me is a compost pile and it's a little different than ones you may have seen before but fundamentally it's the same thing. It's just a bunch of material and the goal is to break it down into compost. I've done some interesting stuff with this. This has actually an air intake in it. It's got a fresh air intake, uh, which kind of coils through underneath it. It has perforated pipe, four inch perforated drainage pipe underneath. And then it also is plumbed. So it has about eight, eight to 900 feet of half inch, uh, PEX piping and you can see the ends right here poking out of the pile the two red ends there um, Theory behind this compost pile is that I can harvest the heat from it as it composts <clears throat> Unfortunately, I did build this pile a little bit late last fall So what happened is it picked up a bit of heat over the winter and then it froze solid and now it's cold So I have a thermometer here And we'll just probe it and see what the temperature is right now All right, so basically when I put it into the compost pile, the deeper I go, the colder it gets. You see that? 60 Fahrenheit or 15 Celsius, and it's just kind of dropping too, right? So this tells me that it did freeze solid over the winter, so it's cold. And if I wait long enough, it might start warming up on its own. But what I want to do is actually kickstart this pile. So I'm in a bit of a rush. I want to get this pile going. So I'm going to try my own method for kickstarting a pile, which is basically grass, manure if available. Um, yeah, anything that breaks down quickly, really. And I need to dig into the top of the pile and kind of create a little bowl on the top and then I'm going to start the compost there and if I generate some heat at the top of the pile it actually should start uh, convecting air through the pile which is the goal so let's see if it works Okay, so I tunneled in until I hit the uh, top of the plumbing. So I hit the PEX piping and I stopped her there. And now I just need to grab some grass or leaves or some sort of easily compostable material. Do a little bit of a brown green mixture, add some water. And uh, I need quite a good amount of volume. Go for a cubic yard or so. And I'll try and get that composting and cooking. And hopefully that uh, can jumpstart the pile.
Martin, Pine Martin in a tree. Here, I'll try and get you guys a look. This is a cool little patch of forest. I usually see like some sort of animal when I'm out here. Last time I was out, I saw like an owl, pretty big owl. Pretty cool spot. So to really make sure this pile gets going, I've traded my cousin some for some horse manure. So this stuff's not super fresh, but it's uh, it should still be good as long as I get it mixed in well enough. I really forgot how hard it can rain in the summertime. Or spring, I guess. Uh, so this is what I've got done on the compost pile here. So I added a little bit of, that's right there, that's birch sawdust. More grass, a little bit of um, old hay. And let's do a quick temperature check. All right, so yesterday when we started this, it was, I forget what it was, 10 degrees maybe Celsius. Today that's the outside air temperature. So, it's climbing, 25 Celsius. Okay, so just shy of 30, it's probably like 27 Celsius. So that's a, I don't know, 17 degree temperature increase over 24 hours, that's pretty good. Yeah, hasn't really increased at all on the outside yet. So the only part that's cooking is the grass at this point. That's to be expected. Well, it's been three days, no, nah, four days since I built the compost kickstarting pile. And every day since then, it's rained, which turns out is really good for uh, kickstarting a compost pile. So you can see here, we are up quite a bit. 70 degrees Celsius here. So that escalated quickly. So hopefully, I mean, that's like too hot almost, but hopefully that's hot enough to start drawing some heat from other areas. Cause that's basically right now, that's just basically composting uh, grass, horse manure, that sort of thing. Things that are basically good at composting. So, if we look instead at the side of the pile where it's predominantly wood chips, it's actually 100% wood based. Then we get to see 
how much cooler it is over here. So my goal is to start to compost the wood from the inside out. And yeah, we have a ways to go here. It's still quite cold on the outside. Although last time I checked it, it was at 10 degrees Celsius. And we'll see what it equalizes to now. If it's at all higher, then this is working. It's a start. We'll have to see um, how it does over the next couple of months here. But my goal is to get this thing, this pile of wood, I need to get the pile of wood composting at roughly like 50 degrees Celsius, or at least 40. And that should allow me to get enough heat that I can actually put some of it to use by plumbing into it. And then I can add a pump here and run essentially hot heated water to somewhere and then cold water runs back and is reheated by the pile. So I created basically a, a heater, just a really big, <laughs> big messy one. Just waiting for this to cool off. I mean, the air temperature is no higher than 15 degrees Celsius today. So, just that some of you guys probably just want to see this in action. It's pretty impressive. Get the glare off of there. Look at it climb all the way up to 160.